Hello friends. In Asia, there is a giant technology corporation that everyone knows. Their products are available in every corner of the world. A corporation with outstanding and stable growth over the years. An extremely large corporation, even beyond our imagination. Perhaps needless to say more, it is Samsung. If you count only the number of employees in this global corporation, that number is larger than Apple, Microsoft and Google combined. Starting in 1938, in the face of Europe's recovery and the outbreak of World War II, in the Korean Peninsula, a company was founded by Lee Byung-chul. At that time, this was just a small company with about 40 employees and sold groceries and noodles. In the late 1950s, Samsung moved into the insurance, security, and retail businesses. A few years later, Samsung continued to enter the electronics field. By 1970, Samsung had released the first TV product with a 12-inch screen. By 1983, the first computer branded Samsung was released. Then on the momentum, Samsung continued to expand into a multitude of different industries, in every country around the globe. It is the expansion of the diversity of fields and markets in which it operates that has made Samsung the most flexible company in the world. Since 1993, Samsung has been the largest memory chip manufacturer in the world. In fact, the first iPhone and countless other mobile phones use processors made by Samsung. As of 2011, Samsung is the largest smartphone manufacturer in the world. In addition, from 2006 until now, Samsung has remained on top of the world with the title of the world's largest television manufacturer. This is the Samsung logo, used from 1993 until now. If you look closely, you'll see that the letter S and the letter G are partially covered by the oval. It's not closed, it's open. This means, Samsung wants to be in the world, communicate with the world, learn, and serve a global society. Today, we encounter Samsung products everywhere, in every corner of society such as, air conditioners, refrigerators, washing machines, televisions, phones, computers, cameras. That's just what we can see and most easily come across. It has many other things that we cannot imagine such as, ships, planes, tanks, hospitals, parks, skyscrapers, or even digital cities. This is really crazy and impressive, because Samsung is just a company. In 2021, the amount that Samsung makes accounted for 19% of the country's GDP, or about $327 billion. In which, Samsung in Vietnam also accounts for 20% of Vietnam's GDP, or about 75 billion US dollars. So why does Samsung have such an unimaginable influence? The main reason is that this is not a small company, it is a multinational corporation. It includes more than 100 subsidiaries operating in a diverse range of industries, including, construction, consumer electronics, financial services, shipbuilding, and medical services. In the construction industry, we can mention, Samsung Construction Engineering Company, Samsung Investment Trading Company, Samsung Heavy Industry Company. In the electronics industry, we can mention Samsung Electronics, Samsung Electromechanics, Samsung Display. Especially Samsung Tech Win. This is a company specializing in the production of weapons and technologies for the military such as, aircraft, tanks, jet engines, cannons. In the financial sector, we have, Samsung Life Insurance, Samsung Investment and Development Company, Samsung Joint Venture Investment Company. In addition, Samsung also operates a hotel and resort business and has a medical center, including an economic research institute. And yet, Samsung also makes cars. This is a car made by Samsung. They build the world's tallest buildings, like the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. As of now, it is the tallest building in the world, with a height of 830 meters. Taipei 101 Tower in Taiwan, 508 meters high. Or the Petronas Twin Towers, 456 meters high, the symbol of Malaysia. And yet, Samsung also owns a ship manufacturing industrial park, each year churning out more than 30 large ships, with the size of small cities on the sea. Is it over yet? There is still more. Samsung has an entire electronic city called Samsung Digital City, the largest theme park in Korea, Everland and fashion brand Samsung Fashion. Above I have briefly summarized Samsung subsidiaries and activities in the most typical fields. It's really too big, it makes us very surprised with what we know. 
and what we think about it is too small compared to reality. Samsung is indeed a huge corporation, it crept into every corner of the economy. With such growth and far-reaching influence, it's not wrong to say, Samsung is too big to collapse. Video ends here. Thank you all for watching and liking it. If you find the video useful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Goodbye and see you again.